are your KSBR Storm Team forecast. Well, good afternoon, everyone. We've been watching the radar throughout the day, and many of you, especially for some of our far western counties, may have even been woken up in the middle of the night by some loud claps of thunder, some flashes of lightning. We haven't had a few heavy pockets of rain. For now, though, you can see most of the shower or thunderstorm activity. It's moved its way off to the east and really just outside of the Ozarks. I think if you are in Sharp County, say even down toward the Strawberry area, you might be able to watch for a few of those lightning strikes left over. And let me know if you have a rain gauge outside how much rainfall you've been seeing from this. Most of us though, we've been staying dry over the last six hours or so. It was really about 12 hours ago that we had that big batch of rain move across the Ozarks and take a look at some of these rainfall totals. It was especially for parts of southeastern Kansas that they picked up over two inches of rain in the rain gauge, about an inch and a quarter throughout the day today in Joplin. Versus here in Springfield, we just passed that tenth of an inch mark. And just to show how spotty some of those thunderstorms were, areas like both Rolla and Sedalia, just shy of an inch of rain. The majority of that, though, did come while you were probably getting ready to wake up in the morning or just trying to sleep through the night. Rainfall amounts so far. You may have noticed that your yard, it's starting to get a little brown, a little crispy outside. If you have plants, hopefully you've been watering them as well, because not only for the month, but throughout the year, we've been more than an inch and starting to push that two inch mark for behind as far as rainfall goes. Now, as far as the drought monitor goes, let's take a look. You notice we started this at the beginning of the year, January through April. We had enough rain to get the Ozarks out of any sort of drought category, and it's still not dry enough to be a concern for us, but like we just saw from the almanac if we don't get rainfall soon those drought conditions could start to be a problem or at least we'll start to see more of our counties creeping into an abnormally dry one storm chances they are something we're keeping an eye on not only throughout the rest of your evening but more so into the day tomorrow then some drier air moves in for the end of the week and your weekend and you can bet when you pair those drier conditions with a little more sunshine those temperatures are just going up from here as far as temperatures today, though, well, especially those of us farther off to the west, well, we continue to see not only the rain cooled air to start off the day, but plenty of cloud cover to make us about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than where we were yesterday. That means areas like Springfield, we just topped off in the mid 80s, sitting at 85 degrees now, and it's not hard to tell some of the spots that got missed by the rain and even had some sunshine. West Plains, just shy of 90 degrees as you head out the door right now. And I think all of us are nice and warm and humid outside. If you do have outdoor plans, still keep an eye on the clouds. I think that most of the rainfall chances for the evening, though, have already moved out, and it won't be until tomorrow afternoon that we really start to ramp up that chance for rain again. I think first thing tomorrow morning, we'll see a few clouds. Really, it's after lunchtime, probably between about noon and 4 p.m. that we introduce like we saw Day, the chance for a few pop up thunderstorms, not a widespread washout for us, though. Even for the day on Thursday, later we get into the afternoon, well, we'll have more heat from the day stirring up some instability, so it will increase our rain chances. Overall, though, still not that widespread washout or that widespread good soaking that I'm sure that we're hoping for. And whether it's keeping the grass green or your plants outside alive, we are still going to be keeping our fingers crossed for a little more rain in your forecast. Overall, though, those peaks of sunshine did help to bring temperatures for many of us up to right around 90 degrees. And then tonight we'll be falling right back down into the 70s. As we head throughout the next few days, I think all the way through Friday, we are still going to be keeping a close eye on that potential for a pop up shower, maybe a thunderstorm or two. But I really think closer we get to the weekend, the more our attention is going to shift to those high temperatures back up in the mid 90s and once you factor in the humidity well that's going to feel like triple digits outside so make sure this weekend not only are you keeping an eye on the clouds for those pop-up thunderstorms but really wear that light loose fitting clothing and make sure you're drinking plenty of water the second phase